The newsroom contains language and subject matter that some viewers may find offensive. We recommend viewer discretion. I've got my receipts and my records for you in the shoebox in my office. George, I'm your accountant, not a bookkeeper. A shoebox. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. More welfare cuts at Queen's Park, 5 p.m. Okay, good. That's our lead. That's our lead. And you're not my only client. It's tax time. I come down here to you. The least you can do is put your expenses on computer. Next year, I'm sorry. Okay, so it was a horse. The hooker was charged, but the real estate developer got off. Great. That's our lead. Tell Mark the welfare cuts come second. Lead. Thank you very much. Now, can I at least deduct my new VCR and televisions? Not if they're at home. My car. What about my car? Now, again, only if you use it for the show. You'd have to set up an independent corporation that owns the vehicle and then leases it back to the network. Look at this. They published the salaries of public employees making over $100,000 a year. They said they would do it, and they did it. Yeah, I saw that this morning. It's beyond me why people would want their incomes published, but they seem to love it. Wait a second. They published A to M today, and my name's not here. They let my name off. Yeah, I, I noticed that. I can't believe this. I make $137,000 a year, and they left my name off? George, the last thing you want is somebody at the tax department thinking about your income. What do you mean? We declared. Every cent. Uh, the car in 93 was slightly dicey. I w wouldn't want them looking into that. What do you mean, slightly dicey? Basically, I feel very comfortable with that deduction. Well, what does basically comfortable mean? You wanted the deduction. I made it work. Wait a second. I said to you, can we get the car deduction? You said I can do it. And that's what I did. Basically, it worked. There you're going basically again. Would you quit saying basically? It worked or it didn't work. Isn't that what an accountant does? It works or it doesn't work. Basically means it worked back then. Just always avoid an audit. That's all I'm saying. All I want to know is, can I go to sleep tonight? Oh, sh basically, you can sleep like a baby. And high seas are now threatening the overcrowded vessel, which Coast Guard officials estimate is carrying more than 300 starving refugees off the shark-infested South Florida coast. And Bruce Moffat can tell us exactly what kind of weather they can expect. Bruce? Well, those boat people are right in the path of that storm we reported earlier, Jim, with winds gusting up to 100 kilometers an hour. And speaking of boat people, you know I'm a sailing fanatic, and we'll be heading up through the Thousand Island area on Saturday, and it looks like we'll have sunny skies right across Ontario for the long weekend. Well, I wouldn't mind being a refugee on your boat. Well, of course, we're all hoping for those boat people, and I guess we can be glad we live in a country where we don't have to hop on a boat every time our government changes hands. Well, this is a great country, Jim, and I get letters from Canadians of all national origins. Uh, here's a cooking tip today from Heather Laidlaw of Oakville, Ontario, who writes that the best way to avoid the stringy part of the asparagus is to take the raw spear like so and snap it. There you go. Heather claims that the uh, asparagus naturally breaks at a point between the tender and the stringy part. You know, Bruce, I'm wondering if it could be the stringy part that gives your urine that pungent odor that so many people experience after eating asparagus. Well, who knows? It's, uh, but it's a good point. Uh, thanks, Bruce. Thanks, Heather. It gives your urine a pungent odor. Who writes that tasteless shit for him? He had lived it, okay? We didn't write it. He made it up. <sighs> yeah, well, that's my audience. They love me. And if Miss Pissass Ontario writes in it with a suggestion on, on how to snap asparagus spears, then I owe her the common decency not to have that prick kill my bit with a stench of his own urine. You're right, you're right. The Toronto businessman vacationing in Florida. Remember the cops reported he was shot by two blacks? Well, they didn't do it. The wife confessed. So it's a domestic thing. He's still dead. Yeah, well, so is the story. Canadian businessman shot by his wife in Florida doesn't work. But shot by two black kids worked. I didn't say that. The story doesn't work, okay? There's no hook. By the way, the wife, uh, the wife didn't actually pull the trigger. Allegedly, she put the boyfriend up to it. Was the boyfriend black, at least? He was white. Pass on that. Well, there is an amateur video of the body floating in the pool. Was the body floating up, face up, or face down? Face up. Are the eyes open? Uh, one eye was open, uh, the other was gone. Gone? Shot out. I love that. We got tape. What about the welfare cuts? Well, actually, the welfare cuts were bumped to a second. We were going to do the horse and the hooker as a lead. Well, I think we've got two leads now. We've got the body in the pool. We've got the horse and the hooker and the developer. Okay, well, who, who's, for, uh, who's for body in the pool? I'm, I'm for body in the pool. pool. Okay, uh, hooker and horse? Uh, body in the pool. Body in the pool. Okay. Next, uh, the Toronto Film Festival. The names in town this week. I'm trying to line up for an interview. We've got De Niro, Sandra Bullock, Pacino, Winona Ryder... Hugh Grant and Elizabeth Hurley, and uh, Rob Lowe. 
Do you really think you can get Hugh Grant and Elizabeth Hurley? I know I can get Rob Lowe. You know, this is just an idea, but uh, I, I really love this. Uh, I was thinking every Friday during the summer, I could do the weather remote from my boat on Lake Simcoe. Uh, you know, a kind of a um, weather report, weekend weather report for, for cottage country. You know, and, and we could do a celebrity fishing thing. It's uh, a tax write-off. Oh, it's a, it's a beautiful boat. It's a Mark II with 200 horsepower Merck engines. It's a tax write-off. Uh, up yours. I don't believe you. <laughs> um, how will the car be used on the show? In a summer weather segment uh, where Bruce the Weatherman will do the weekend forecast on the road from George's car, uh, a different vacation area of the province every week. Why not use a boat? Summer cottages. Because a boat's a fishing show, Alan, that's why. It's Charles Corralt on the road. It's intelligent. But your weatherman, from what I've seen, is an idiot. We know Bruce is an idiot, okay? He'll be just as big an idiot in a boat as he will be in a car. So let him be an idiot in my car and I'll get the deduction, okay? I just want to know, will this deduction work? The whole concept was the boat. It was a fishing show. You're better than that. Absolutely, you're better than that. I mean, look, you could be a thinking journalist. You know, you remember Charles Corral on the road, Charles Corral? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I used to watch him all the time. He, the, he did very smart shit. Exactly, and this is your chance to do shit just as smart. Absolutely. You know, this is your chance to go behind just being, you know, an, an asshole weatherman. You know what I mean? He, he means that you have a, a basic understanding of the people of this province. That's, that's what you mean by asshole. Yeah, that's what I meant. Okay, look, 53% of this province love my Karis, right? Mm. This is your audience. They love you. Right? Mm. These are people who have values that you relate to, right? Golfing, hunting, uh, fishing, family, hard work, church. Uh, alcohol. Alcohol. Yeah, yeah, uh, real shit. Real shit. You know, these guys get out there, they have a couple of drinks, they kill a couple of animals, they blow off some steam, the odd guy comes back and slaps his wife around. But they're, they're my audience. People are sick of hearing about condoms and lesbians. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I think this is great. Uh, who, so whose car will we use? Well, uh, that, that's a production detail. Well, I, I could use my car. Uh, I think there's an insurance problem with that, uh, personal. Uh, you know, anyway, I, I love this. This gives you an opportunity to uh, blend the best of, of uh, public broadcasting, which is... Uh, ideas. 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 With the best of the private sector, which is... Um, being a guy? Being a guy. Being a guy with a motor. The private sector. Yeah. Being a guy with a big motor. Yeah. A big motor. Yeah. See, I'm glad they left my name off that. You know, I have no interest in people knowing my salary. Right. Frank Devereaux makes 130000 You're kidding. No. See, this is the problem. People sit around and gossip about how much people make, right? It's just completely counterproductive. Margaret Lund makes 140. In, In radio? radio? You see, this is it. I don't want people sitting around saying, you know, George Finley makes $150,000 a year, and my tax dollars pay for that. You make 150? You see, that's my point. It does nothing but make people jealous. Okay, I make 150,000, somebody makes a lousy 67,000, they're gonna feel horrible when they see that in the paper. So now my 67 is lousy? It was an example, okay? Let's just drop that. George is right. In the cafeteria this morning, a bunch of them couldn't find your name in the paper, so right away they're gloating over the fact that you make under 100 grand. And you guys said nothing? Well, well I mean, you know, you're not on the list here, and, and so, I mean, we assume... Well, we said that you must make at least 85. I make under $100,000. I'm a news director. I make under 100. I thought you didn't care. I don't care whether my salary is published. But power in this place is based on image. When you make $137,000 a year, and people think you make 85, your credibility is undermined. I thought you said 150. Oh, well, I just rounded it off, that's all. Well, oh. Okay, but if you were gonna round it off, wouldn't you round it down to 135? Yeah, or if you're gonna round it up to 140. Yeah. The point is, I don't care what people think about how much money I make, all right? I, I, I just couldn't believe that you didn't make the list. Look it, I didn't not make the list, okay? Some guy left my name off the list, all right? And I don't care whether my name was left off the list because I don't need my salary published. 